So Leonia, tell us what are you doing right now? Fair enough too. What's this one called? This is called Newport. Uh, the reason why it's called Newport is because it's going to be Newport. So I thought, why not just call it that? You know, it has a big vibe, it has colours, it has a feel of freedom, and yeah, it's quite a refreshing piece. So this is a commission, this one's not for sale? That's a big canvas. Yeah. How, how big is the canvas? This is, um, this piece is 1.2 by 1.8 uh, metres and um, it's acrylics on canvas. I only use acrylics because uh, oils are too toxic, you know, too turpentine and the rest of it. Um, yeah, and it dries quicker too, so much easier for me anyway. Some people hate acrylics because they're hard to blend, but I, I, I quite like them. I like that it dries quickly and I just get on with it. And, um, yeah. So a piece like this um, commission would be five thousand dollars. Yeah. So it takes me you know, quite a few weeks to do it. And, um, yeah. And commissions are different to pieces that I've already had got available. So you know, if I've got something already available, it's, I can pretty much get it done pretty quickly. But when you're doing a commission, you have to work with the customer, and there's a lot of going backwards and forwards. And so it takes a bit more time. Yeah. And um, also, all this year, I've got a promotion of um, free shipments, so that's everywhere worldwide. So, you know, obviously, I cover those costs of so shipping. So, you only have the one cost of the actual artwork, which, you know, nothing aside, like I said, $5,000. Yeah. So, if, you, if you've if you been at home looking at your wall and for a while now and um, it's time to um, give them a bit of a revamp. Hello everyone! <laughs> if it's time to give your walls a bit of a revamp, you know, you can contact me and um, you can come up with something special for your home, you know, personalise it. Whether you've got certain furniture pieces or a certain look that you like, like whether, whether it's a beach feel or whether it's a bit more of a classic feel, you are pretty easy going and I can work around you. And so one of the things yeah. with art, sometimes it's hard to work out you know, what, what's good and what's bad or like what, what, what's art all about? How, do you, how does somebody choose a piece of art? Well, I think art is very personal. You know, you, there is no set rules of how you choose art. You basically, you know, it doesn't have to do anything for you other than just um, make you feel good, really. So just go with what catches your eye and makes you feel good. What about colours though? Colours? Mm. I don't know, I think people make things too complicated when it comes to art and feel, you can feel quite intimidated going into a gallery and you know, if you don't know the artist or what they were thinking and blah blah blah, who gives a shit really? <laughs> Sorry but you know, art is what it is, I mean that's, look I didn't go to fine art school and I don't follow any rules in terms of the art world, like you know, you have to be in the art scene for so many years to be doing this or that, like who cares? Honestly, just do what the heck you want, and if it, people like it, they buy it. That's it. <laughs> it's, it's nothing complicated about it, really. You know, like. So, are you talking to artists, or are you talking to about to customers? To both, really. I mean, seriously, like artists that are out there and just want to give things, give it a go, and and they're scared about all the rules. 
labels and the, you know what gallery to promote your work at and having an agent and just promote yourself for goodness sake you know like social with social media now all you really have to do is basically do the hard work if you've got some talent and you know some amb ambition about being an artist then get it out there start doing some work you can't sell a secret really so you really have to um just do the hard yards you know and once people see enough of your work and if they like it you start to create a bit of a you know fan base um, not everyone's gonna love what you do and that's fine don't get disheartened you know it's like everything you know if, if you've got a special architectural style that you like you know if you, if you like Californian bungalows you're probably not gonna love something really modern so don't try to capture everybody's attention just keep doing what you do um, because that obviously makes you happy for starters and um, and it's you it's you it's coming from you uh, well that's another thing with commissions like people come to me they they more or less know my style or the kind of style I have I don't do hello love heart to you too <laughs> uh, you know I don't have I'm not a super realist um, artist like I don't do um, you know that hyper realism stuff it's just not me I personally don't like it don't like it on my wall it's like a big blown up photograph and I appreciate it that you know there's a shitload of skill gone into that but I don't it's not my style, so I, I'm not going to spend a hundred years trying to get an eye looking like a realistic eye. <laughs> your eyes are pretty good. Uh, I think you're, you're, okay, you're, uh, you're known for your eyes. A lot of well, people look at your art and they see the eyes, and that's what, draw, that's what draws me in. Thank you, honey. Eye. But the thing is, like, okay, maybe the eyes are coming off realistic, but if the hair isn't or the rest of it, I, you have it had to me. It has to look like a piece of art, and that not a photograph. Um, yeah, so that's it. I think there's some people on here that have some questions. What questions are there? Any questions that you can I think read? They're saying, they're saying hello, most oh, of them. Oh, okay. Hello to everyone. Hey, how good is it, everyone, that we, um, that we can see more of our friends and family now and we can venture out a bit further? I mean, seriously. Maybe you even go for coffee and brunch at some point in two weeks' time. Can't wait for brunch. Um, how good is that? And also the fact that we can open retail. I mean, honestly, about bloody time, you know. It's. Um, I think a lot of the retail sectors, um, the retail sectors had it pretty hard. So, you know, not saying spend all your money at once, but you know, how good is it that we can support retail now? And um, Christmas, and if, Christmas, and Christmas coming as well. You know, it, it's come at a good time that it's open at that time because people are obviously going to buy a couple of things uh, yeah so if you have any questions regarding my art or you like you'd like a piece um, for a gift let me know for a gift you know for someone for Christmas or a birthday yeah got any Christmas sales coming up Christmas sales yeah let's do 10% <laughs> let's do 10% Christmas sale okay so if you order a commission or if you buy any of my art from today onwards up to Christmas you get 10% off limited editions and originals yes limited editions and originals my limited editions are I don't know how big are they Neil? <laughs> I'm really bad do you remember how much uh, they're 90 by 65, 65 centimeters so they come in the Tassie oak black and white frame and they are $990, they Look, they're Chiclet prints, which means they're not going to fade over a long period of time like a normal print. They're formulated for the artist market, so not like, you know, your average print. They're artist quality and um, they're a beautiful gift. Numbered? And they're numbered, yeah, numbered and signed. There's only 25 of them, so ever printed, of that particular image. Uh, I now have this this size as well, which I call a, a deluxe, and the size of that is um, 1.3 by 1 meter. 1.3 by 1 meter, and um, again, that is available in Tassie oak, white, and black frame. And these particular ones, I only do per order because I rework them. Um, they're three thousand dollars framed, uh, and they you can get them unframed, but you know, like it's really up to you. It's a little bit less unframed. Um, but they're reworked, so each one is individual. They, you know, whether you want like, you know, a green, 
green face paint or I can add your colors into it and make it more personal to you. So you, you already know what you're getting because if you like that particular work, you know that it's that face or you know that theme and then we just rework it for you, each one individual. Yeah, so like I said, so these are 990, this is $3,000 framed, framed and the pieces that are the original artworks range from three to five, as you can see Aloha there. She's beautiful, she's looking for a beach home as we speak, or even just a refreshing style setting. Uh, that would look great in a Hampton style home, I think. Uh, here we've got Inner Gold. This is a lovely piece. Uh, this piece, I can really see this piece next to, um, I don't know, like, you know, that Manhattan style home, you know, a lot of shiny surfaces, you know, like shiny black and that kind of classical look. Anyone has a nice piano next to it? I'm not saying that everyone has to have a piano, but to have the piece. <laughs> but it would look great in that setting, I think. I can really see that in that kind of style home. Yeah, there's Alcura. You look great anywhere. And um, yeah. We have Waves. She's still looking for a home as well. Um, let me know if you're interested. Well, we've got 10% off now, so how good's that? So it's five grand down to four and a half. Yes, there you go, four and a half. How good's that? So she'll look great anywhere, I think. The white, white um, big wall, looking at the ocean maybe or something. This is in a way. So look, if you see anything you like and have your eye on something, uh, but are a little bit unsure and would like to maybe have a good look. Two weeks, that's all. Two weeks and then you pop in here, 81 Bluff Road, Black Rock. Say hello to me, have a coffee with me or a little something. And uh, we can discuss, you can see the whole range. And um, if there's something that you like that's not here, I can easily get it done for you. If you want a commission, you need to give me a little bit of time in advance. And you can help with ideas yeah. of colour schemes and decor and what's going to suit a house. For sure, and I don't even charge for that. So, yeah. Okay, I've got to go. I've got things to do. Love you all. Bye-bye. Oh, hang on. I've got questions. Has anyone got some questions? I need a little piece of Leanne on my wall. You sure do. <laughs> uh, yes, you do, Sarah. Come by and say hello to me. Uh, what else have we got here? Muitos parabéns, obrigado! Olá! Primas em Portugal e França. Ok. So, I'll see you guys later. Um, keep in touch. Hope you're all well and keeping well during this whole lockdown business. It's been an interesting year, to say the least. It's like crazy. Calendar's coming out. Got this guy. <laughs> He's my advertising campaign manager. Take your glasses off. Okay, okay, take my glasses off. Oh, okay, look, here we go. Got these little babies available. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to look like a truckie, I have these available. You can order them online. Uh, um, go to my Shopify account. I have, if you want just a little bit of Leonia art, but not on your wall, maybe on your head, or, you know, maybe just a t shirt. So I've got quite a few uh, products available on um, on my Shopify account, and I'll be adding yeah, more. Yeah, I'll be adding more um, in the next few days. Uh, I'm always adding new products, so yeah. And if there's anything that you like yeah, and that yeah, isn't dog. on there, just ask. Just let me know, and I can add it to to the um, to a t-shirt or something and make it available. Uh, so it's uh, www.leonia.art. Okay. All right, guys, I'm really going to go now. Bye. Toodaloo. Where the hell are oh.